morning everybody another new day another new trailer this one's empty dropped the loaded trailer and picked up this empty got to bring this one over to around atlanta georgia where all the fun's going on right now once i drop that off apparently i'm rescuing a trailer uh from a driver back in tennessee his truck broke down and i gotta go grab that trailer and bring it up to ontario then in Ontario, I have a reload that's bringing me back down here somewhere. So we got a busy, busy week here. But for, for now, where they unload these trailers, they want these axles all the way to the back. But they need to be centered with this line here. I like it that they put a little arrow there. The center of the axles has to be right here. Unless you're in California, then the center of the rear axle has to be right here. But everywhere else, I don't know. California is California. We don't ask questions. We just shake our head and don't go there. 12.5 meters center of the axis. So I got to move these. Got to move the trailer back. You'll see. So did you see them slide? That's not bad, eh? I'll move it back one more hole so that it can get in the pin. Yes. And that'll be pretty much exactly centered. Not bad, eh? I haven't slid the axles in over three years. I've been on flatbeds. First try. Still got it. So we're flying through uh, Alabama right now. Alabama. We're about to get to uh, Birmingham, I believe. What do you think, Diesel? What do you think? So the plan right now is it's three hours to uh, Atlanta. We'll be stopping just south of the city there. Uh, I gotta drop off my trailer there, and then we're bobtailing, I told you this already, right? Bobtailing up to Cleveland, Tennessee, which is sort of by Chattanooga. And uh, we're gonna rescue a trailer that's there. There's a truck that's broke down, and we're gonna go get his trailer and deliver that trailer to uh, Newmarket, Ontario, just north of Toronto. Gotta try to be there for Friday, and it's Wednesday today. It's gonna be a little bit of a, a tight, a tight fit to fit that in there, but we'll do our best. It's just beautiful down here. Everyone's so nice. That southern hasp hospitality, that southern hospitality. I can't talk today. And as long as we don't get any problems going through Atlanta later, we should be able to pick up that trailer today yet and uh, make our way up a few hours at least from there. It's about a 14 hour drive from Cleveland up to Ontario where I got, got to deliver. We're crossing over the bridge at Sarnia, Ontario from Fort Erie? No, not Fort Erie. That's that's the other side there by Buffalo. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What is the American side again of Sarnia? They're Detroit and Windsor, and then a little further north, there's Sarnia and... I thought it was Port something. I'll have to tell you guys later. I can't think of it right now.
the entrance to the ride at 190 meters. I dropped that trailer off at our drop yard. And now uh, we got to make our way back up to Cleveland, Tennessee and bobtailing. So I feel like I'm a little bit of a rocket ship right now. A little go-kart. Actually has some acceleration. So it's uh, two to two and a half hours up to where we need to go. I'm going to need to stop someone for a coffee. That is a definite. That is an absolute. Have the most acceleration. In 100 meters, take the entrance to the ride on at 85 North. I-85 North, right here. North to Tennessee. get to bobtail around on the road that much. This is sort of like a special little treat. It feels weird. <laughs> Continue on this road for 26 kilometers. Atlanta has been smooth sailing. That's good news. We're not quite around the city yet. But this is a big city. Really, really big city. <laughs> I've delivered right downtown Atlanta before to their convention center. I believe it was their convention center. How long ago was that? That was before I went flatbeds, when I was on dry vans before. So I'm thinking probably what, five years ago? Five years ago or so? Yeah, I delivered right downtown, first thing in the morning, Atlanta, Georgia. Traffic actually wasn't that bad because I went in there at like uh, four in the morning. So it wasn't too bad, but coming out was a little bit sketchy. I think we left there around 9.30, something like that. Forget what I was delivering, but man, I think it was building supplies. I think they were building something. I don't know, I don't really ever care what's in the box. As long as, as, long as something's in the box, I don't care. Whatever. Throw it in there, I'll close the doors, I'll bring it where you need it. How about that? As long as it's legal, you know? The day wasn't actually too hot today. I mean, for, for being so far down in the south here. It's actually hotter at home. Then again, the sun is still way in the sky at home right now, and I'm in the same time zone. I'm just so far south that it sets sooner here than it does at home. I'm an hour, pretty much exactly an hour from where this trailer is supposed to be. I hope it's, I hope it's where they told me it was. It's just for covering it, right? Because some, one of our other drivers is trucks in the shop and apparently they're not sure if they can fix it or not. So someone's got to deliver the freight. You can always call on Trucker Josh, your superhero, your super trucker hero. I'll get her done my way to save the day. Super Trucker Josh. This is the third trailer I've been hooked onto today. <laughs> I, re I still don't like my automatic transmission in reverse. Uh, it's either all or nothing. It just wants to grab and just force you back. It's hard to get a nice smooth, smooth hookup with this thing, but I'm still getting used to it, I guess. I don't go backwards as often as I go forwards, so I don't get as much practice. Well, I'm hoping there's parking at this rest area coming up here. I've stopped at four or five different truck stops already and there's been nothing, no parking available. And everybody's parked all the way out here onto the road already. So, you know, that's a good sign. 
<laughs> At 100 meters, keep to the right on, connecting road and then, approaching destination on the left side, into 190 meters. So apparently this rest area is closed, but it's open to parking for truckers. And it is packed. I hope YouTube shows you what's going on here because they got no lights here or anything. And very often once I upload, it's like the footage I'm filming right now, I can see just fine on my camera screen in front of me there. Approaching destination of 200 meters on the left side. But then when I upload it to YouTube, for some reason YouTube like darkens it a lot and you can't see what I'm seeing. But not much to see, just lots of trucks and no parking. that into a parking spot right here. Nope, it says no parking on the sign right there. I'm not parking right in front of a no parking sign. I don't feel like getting woken up in the middle of the night. Some people don't care. I care. Just barely enough room to squeak through here. I'm guessing it's gonna be all You have arrived up. at your destination on the left side. Information center, check. So we're calling this information center. It's gonna be right packed. Yep, right all the way, right to the back, packed up. Just hoping I'd get lucky. At least they're making it bigger by the looks of it off to the right here. Good, because they need it. Yeah, somebody in there too. Oh, well, I could make this into a spot, possibly. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, we found a spot and I did something I don't like to do very often. I nosed in. I wanted to get the spot before anybody else got it. I saw it right in front of me. I saw another truck over there. I saw a spot in front of me. I was gonna turn around and then back in, right? But I was scared that if I turn around, he'd sneak in and take it from me. So I just <laughs> nose right in, it's mine. Now I'm going to bed. So glad I found a spot. It, this is such a bad area. It, one of the bad areas for finding a parking spot after like six o'clock in the evening. And I pulled in here, oh, like midnight or something. We're here. Thanks for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. We had three different trailers today. Wow. Tomorrow we're just going to have the one. But we're going to cross the international border tomorrow into Canada. Wish me luck. Hello, this is Todd Taylor, the Banjo Man, coming to you live from my studio from Nashville, Tennessee to Spartanburg, South Carolina. When I'm touring or no matter where I'm at, I love watching Trucker Josh TV. And thank you, Trucker Josh, for pulling that freight from Canada to USA and everywhere you go. Without truckers, you know, we wouldn't have a lot of food or anything. May God bless you. Safe travels.